Baltimore Bucks has been an important part of Rampart's history for the past 14 years. This time, Caitlin is our hero. They have been through a lot this past year, but they're staying strong. It started off about June of 2019, and we, Caitlin got sick, and we took her to the doctor, and they put her on antibiotics. They thought she just had some type of like localized infection, something like that. And they put her on a bunch of antibiotics, and it never worked. Our primary care doctor referred us to um, a cancer treatment center, and she said that let's just go ahead and make sure it's not what it could be. And they sent her down for a biopsy, and four days later we got the phone call, and they said it is cancer. But then now it's slowed down a little bit because she's reacted well to her therapy, and it's actually getting to where we can actually do a little bit of things as a family again. My husband, he has been very, very strong with me and with Caitlin. Caitlin has helped me. Just seeing her be as strong as she's been has actually made me stronger. I'm gonna have to say my family for sure because without them I probably wouldn't even, I don't know where I'd be at today if I didn't have them. Of course, our family, which uh, of course most of our family lives in Tennessee, but we've had visitors of our family come in. We've had a lot of visitors come in that are friends from back home. At the Children's Hospital has literally become our second family. I mean, we, if we needed anything, all we had to do was either send them a message, give them a call. The Children's Hospital here in Colorado Springs and in Denver have been a great help. In the Children's Hospital and in the treatment part of it, they do a thing called Beads of Courage. And for every procedure, um, you get a different bead. There's a lot of beads in here, as you can see. So that kind of tells you that she's had a lot of visits to the hospital. During this time, they have gone through many challenges, but they also learned some important lessons. Just, just seeing her really sick, that's, been the, that's probably been the hardest challenge. When Caitlin got sick, it required 24-hour care. I mean, it was, it, it was constant. I mean, one of us had to be by her side at all times because she just got so weak and was so sick to the point of where she required around the clock care. So that was probably the biggest obstacle right there. We cope by trying to make, I'd say, the lightest of the situation as possible, you know? We knew she was sick, we knew the risk, we knew everything they could have, but we didn't let it bog us down and control us. We still made time that when she was feeling good to take her out, get her out of the house, go do things, and at least get out and try to make her feel as normal as possible. Just spending time with her makes me strong. You know, just seeing how strong she is. She, she's taught me to never give up. Uh, even when it was really hard when they were at the hospital for almost two weeks straight, uh, she was just a fighter. She never quit, and that that's something I took out of it. When she was going through her chemo, that's that's when it hit her real bad, and she she's just a fighter. She just wouldn't give up. People go through things that are unexpected, and that their families, and including my family, have to adjust uh, to that change. My sister, she had a seizure and she called for my name and I didn't know what was going on at the time. You know, I thought she was just, you know, yelling, trying to get my attention for something else, you know, just playing around. And then uh, finally, I froze up a little bit and finally when I realized what was going on, I had to call the parents up and I called 911 on my phone and I had to get an ambulance over here. You know, stepping up and, you know, becoming something more and helping, you know, my family out as much as I can. Caitlin is our hero, so let's return the favor by participating in Bald for Bucks this year. Whether you're shaving your head or just donating money. Oh! This is Adam Carlson, signing off for Caitlin.